I'm going to try another one of these Bodmin Moor paintings today. I quite like these uh, little Cornish cottages in the middle of nowhere. So this is just clear water and that will stop the paint, the paper from, uh, from cockling as it gets uh, wetter and wetter. And this is raw sea, a little bit of dirt on back. More water on there, a bit of light red, raw sienna, a bit of, bit of blue, paint out of bed, so now a bit more blue. Try not to paint over like the uh, little effects that just seem to happen naturally. A bit more clear water down there. Getting a bit dry that was. Generally you want to you want to wet it so it, it takes at least a couple of minutes before it starts to get dry. This is ultramarine. And I'm just uh, just sort of playing around with it until I get something that sort of looks looks right. Um, you can sit down and plan it out and do it the proper way if you like. I just like to uh, just bang it in and get on with it. Uh, just whack a few clouds. I'm just going to go a little of alizarin crimson, Payne's grey. Uh, okay, I'm just going to pop a few little clouds in. And then, you're always going to come up somewhere like that, so I can't come any lower than that. Um, watch those pools of water gathering at the bottom of the pine fat. A few little clouds. Um, you can use a cleaner tissue than this if you like. I've had this one in there for a couple of weeks and it's, it's getting a little bit dirty. Hence the uh, paint doesn't come up as well, but you could make you do more sort of subtle, subtle clouds. More raw sienna. I think that'll do now for the uh, the background bit. But what I might do is a hill there, so I'll just put a few clouds in there. And then that, that then, see there, the idea of that is I can then go a bit of green, a bit of blue, and then see that the hill shows up a bit better. If I hadn't have done that, it would have just blended in a bit more, it wouldn't have been as uh, distinctive. Um, clean the brush, bring it back to some light colour. Yeah, if I don't have to put too much water because the paper's still wet. Obviously, the wetter the paper is, the less water you need on the brush, because otherwise it'll just get too watery and everything will just start dripping down, especially when it's a, almost vertical. Well, this is. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is give it a quick dry. Just have to be dry. As long as it's dry as it was, because then the paint will go on a bit stronger. And you'll get a nice, nice bit of contrast then. So, paper had stretched slightly, so I've just re clipped it so it's flat against the board. And then I think what I'll do next is we've got another, another hill coming down there like that. I might do is, we've got a little cottage here now, so I'm going to put it in dark so that it's sort of silhouetted against that light bit in the sky. So I'm just going to burn on that, ultramarine, just enough water to keep the hairs together. And we go somewhere about there and pull down the roof first. And then once the roof's in, 
Got that over there like that. It's a bit wider than that, I eh? down a bit further in that. Something like that. What I'll do, once that's dry, I'll go over it again so it's really dark. The darker it is, the more it'll silhouette against that sky and the more sort of light drama and all that sort of stuff you'll create. I want to go back to light, lighter colours now, so I'm going to clean the brush and then go into some lemon yellow. And just like that, get it across there like that. Blocking this um, grassy bit first, and then get that bit in really light, really light. Then, so it's got the light coming down the middle, and then the, the edges. I'm putting really dark. Got a few, uh, a few little walls to go in first. Um, so we want, there's a, like a little, there's a wall, well there's several going in, so I'll start first with this one out. I want dark, so I'm going ultramarine and burnt on back. And then I've also got my card down there, which I'll scrape out with. So it's just popping the basic shape of the wall there. And then I think I'll do with this one. There's actually like a little gate or something there. No, it's gonna look. It's, it's too wet at the moment, it's a mess of that wire. A few little stones here and there. Break it in, two little stones there, just imagine not the, the light just catching the top of them. This one's a bit close, so I'm just going to do these stones a little bit bigger. So 
I know our house has dried a little bit, so I'm just going to pop that roof in again. A little bit dry, so just dip the tips into the water just to loosen all the paint up. Pop that roof on again. Don't forget the chimney. Another one on this side as well. What I might do, a little porch there, Just adds a bit of texture to the wall. Show you the summer going on. Um, that's all I'm going to do on the ice, I think. Um, I'll switch, switch to this little brush here. Can you a little? No, it's not coming up too thick. That's a bit better. Little, little guys in there. Um, quite like a little tree. So I'm just going to switch to the little brush. A bit of brown, a bit of blue. Nice and dark. And like a little tree coming up like that. I'm just going to put like a skeleton in with this brush and then another one over there. And then just use a sort of dry brush on the um, the, the height just to put some leaves in it. I'll do it for that. So I'm going to dry, clean the height, squeeze the water out of it. And then dry it as best I can on the tea towel. I want some sort of dark green leaves, so I'm just going to dab it now into the lemon yellow, a bit of burnt umber, a bit of lemon yellow, a bit of uh, Payne's grey. Be careful now because I've wet the brush because the paint was a bit dry and because I haven't I haven't dried the brush again so I'm just going to see how it comes out first. I think I'll leave that'll do for that I think. I'm going to make sure this is flat against the board. And then just need to make sure this is dry for me. figure somewhere so I switch the little brush um, 
I'm just going to go, I'll put them in like sort of try and sort of silhouette them. So I'm just going to go burnt umber, ultramarine, um, I should put them, black sweet now, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stick some on there behind the wall. having a yak. Right, we need some shadows. We have bent on back, ultramarine. And I want them sort of as dark as I can, but I want to see the paint underneath. I want to try and get it all on in one go if I can as well without having to reload the brush. So, imagine the light's coming through there, so it's sort of casting a shadow. I'm going to go sort of in that sort of direction. So, if you imagine it's sort of it's coming off. Off the side there. And come down there. I'll go for the shadows. I'll give that a quick dry. Okay, bit of spray. A little bit of shadow off the spray from there. area. I've done it quite small so I might do two of the smack three and then what's left to do now. I'm just gonna stick my name in the corner and call this one finished I think. Too dry. So let's see what it looks like with the mainsaw. So there we have the mainsaw. And uh, I think the white, the white main sort of helps really bring out the sort of um, the darks and the, 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 the house, silhouetted house against the light of the sky. The sky itself was a sort of mishmash of uh, quite a few colours off the palette. The raw sienna there in the middle. Bit of ultramarine, and then these clouds, darker areas. Um, there was a bit of uh, ultramarine burnt umber in there, just to darken it up a bit. A few clouds put in tissues. Um, put this bit in deliberately, just so that it brought out the profile better on the hill. You could see it more. See, by putting the house in really dark, it sort of really contrasts well against the lighter part of the sky. And put the first coat on, then let it dry, then put the second coat on, just to really darken it. The difference there because this the side of the house I didn't I left it the original one. So can you see the second layer put on? But it has to be dry. You see the difference in the two uh, tones. Then sort of little rigger work, just putting the sort of skeleton, and then a bit of dry brush with the hay. Just put the foliage in on the trees. Birds putting deliberately putting in the light area of the sky, just simply so you can see them better. It wouldn't really work as well if you put it in the dark cloud side. Little figures there having a natter. And then a few walls, just a little bit of scraping with the car, just suggest a few stones. Maybe it looks like the light's sort of catching the side, and then put the shadows in. Just to try and um, emphasise the lights, which I'm trying to basically bring through through the scene. 
Well, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help uh, fund fund the channel, future painting projects and videos, the uh, orange button's there. If you'd like to become a patron. Um, other than that, keep practicing. Any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.